start the hana licensing hana licensing part here licensing right licensing part here hana licensing so what is meant by hana licensing part here hana licensing is based upon the main memory hana licensing is based upon the main memory is based upon the main memory only how much memory how much memory you are using you have to we have to pay for amount for so that much of so that much of memory right of that much of payment we have to do it for here so if you are using the 2 terabyte then 2 terabyte amount uh, like uh, we have to pay for uh, sap right sap is providing it's not the free softwares it's a it's a commercial it's a proprietary licenses here hana licensing is the proprietary licenses here right which means so hana licensing which means proprietary licensing here which we need to purchase it here we need to purchase here and we need to purchase the here here right so here they are the some details here in the hana licensing we have the some details here so that's like here hana licensing is some of the details here like so uh, how to how many types of licenses we have so then so all those things we need to discuss about all those things here right so here hana licensing they are the by when you install the hana license by default you will get the temporary license here temp license here temporary license here that is valid 90 days license 90 days only right now we have installed the one of the licensing that is called the rkr installed that is the temporary license only installed so if you want we can go to the here then right click on the system db then if you go to the properties here in the properties you can see the the licensing here and a licensing here so if you go to the license tab here here you will come to know what is the type of license it is installed here right it's, it will say like temporary license temporary license here So we have to install the license from the uh, so system DB. So here you can see that the license type is the temporary license. When we installed, so June 16th, we have installed the 90 days, which means September 14th, it is going to be end. It is going to be end here. It is going to be end here. So, so it is going to be end here. This is the license, temporary license here. The studio, SID, right click and properties, you will get it out. Also, this license in the 90 days license is applied. So, so between within this 90 days, then we need to apply the, the permanent license. We have to apply it here. We have to apply the, the permanent license. We have to apply it here. The permanent license we have to apply it here. So again, the permanent license also here. Permanent means at the end of the validity. Triple line, triple line. So December 12, 31, triple line, triple line. Right? So it's end of the so world. So here the permanent license means here they are the so again two types of permanent licenses we have here right so enforced and forced license and the second one is called the unenforced license here enforced and unenforced license here enforced license is the limited license here it is the limited limited license here once the limitation is done then your HANA system, HANA will be so locked. HANA will be locked for operations here. So unenforced means it's a unlimited, unlimited. So HANA will not be locked here. HANA will not be locked here. Will not be locked here. Will not be locked in this case here. Limited one, unlimited one here. Best example. So, so limited one. So HANA license, HANA, when you want to purchase the HANA license here, so what we have to do, we need to purchase the license. We need to purchase the license from the SAP. So, but when you, when the service marketplace here, when your service market post directly here, when your service marketplace here, so here, what will happen? We need to provide the, how much GB you are purchasing from SAP. How much GB you are purchasing SAP? That GB we have to enter it. So GB means, Suppose example here, just to take the example here. So you have the, this is the, your RAM. This is the HANA system, right? So
so this is your ram slot here this is your ram slot here right 2 terabyte okay 2 terabyte ram slot 2 terabyte but immediately your database will use the when you install the database database will use the suppose like so 500 gb it is using all right 500 gb it is using here so then but you purchased the license you purchased the license is only for the so 1.5 tb only you purchased the license is only for the 1.5 tb only right so which means you have the threshold you purchased the license is only for the 1.5 tb only here so in this case what will happen here what will happen if it is the enforced it is the it is a forced one ana will start using the 600 gb 700 gb up to 1.5 tb why because your license limit is the 1.5 tb only it will use up to here then license limit is over then what will happen ana system will be locked from the operations means ana system will not accept any data or any connections will not accept why because your limitation is over best example in the mobile we have the prepaid mobiles and postpaid mobiles previously we have the prepaid and postpaid right in the prepaid so if you recharge suppose like 50 rupees you will get the 30 rupees something like that you will get the credits right so then you can you can free to use the 30 30 rupees uh, you can use it right you can use the 30 rupees you can use it up to end of the 30 so your phone will be your calls will be disconnected right that is the limitation that is the limited uh pre license we have the scratch cards i hope you remember right that is a limited one unlimited means it's a postpaid postpaid means how much you want to use it you can use it okay finally the month end you will get the bill that's it how much you want to use it you can use it here so which means you can also free to use the the remaining memory also you can use it remaining memory also we can use it or it will not be locked here this is called the unenforced this is called the enforced here small difference here enforced and unenforced here right hana licensing enforced and unenforced licensing right so we have to get this license here there is a free license free license you will get from so there is a free license and also the paid license also you will get from here paid license also here you will get from sap also here sap also you will get paid license we have to get from sap that depends upon the your usage you want to purchase the enforced or enforced is the unenforced is the so uh like so unenforced which means uh unlimited unenforced is the unlimited here unlimited here right so that is the the license management here temporary license this is the 90 days permanent license so the permanent license key is valid only till three days. some there is expiration date also for the permanent license so right the license key that mainly for the keys are uh, amount of memory the license for the installation so it means suppose if you purchase the 1.5 tb then we may have to use the 1.5 tb only right so from in the we can generate from the market keys and we can install it here right in case of in case of so in case of the permanent license key is installed so the permanent also there is a this license also sometimes we have so limitations right there is a predefined so there is a license type here predefined license key also we can define it here in case of this permanent key also expired then again again you will get only 28 days again you will get only 20 days temp license you will get temp license you will get in between you need to apply the permanent license in this case you need to apply the permanent license here in this case you need to apply the permanent license right uh, sir, uh, i have a question for enforced or uh, is limited no so we have limitation of the size okay so it varies or uh, does it vary or it is fixed it's a main memory how much data you are using so that is the limitation the, will... like you gave example of uh, this uh, prepaid card no so sometimes we'll recharge for 30 rupees for 100 rupees so like that uh, it varies a year also right 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 yeah same so uh, limited means uh you have the one you have the two terabyte one point five tera one terabyte data you have one terabyte ram mass memory you have but you purchased only 
50 rupees only, right? You have the 100 rupees, but you purchased the, the card is only for 50 rupees. Only means you are entertained to use only the 50 rupees only, not for the remaining uh, 50 rupees, only 50 rupees only. Even though you have the enough memory is available, enough amount you have, but you are not entertained to use it here. You will be locked, your phone will be locked because of you purchased only the 50 rupees, is 50 rupees, the license only you, you, you are purchased. That is the limited one. Means same as example 400. In your case 400. You have the 400. Then you are you you have to purchase only 400. 400 means here the RAM license here. RAM license here. Right. So uh, yeah, definitely. So that is the one. Unenforced. So then unenforced means unlimited, which means postpaid. Postpaid cards means it's unlimited, right? Postpaid cards means it's unlimited. Which means unenforced means so it's a it's a consumption of the exceeds then so it will not affect even though the the ana even though your limitation is exceed then it will not be affected ana will not be affected here it will not be locked here but in the info in the enforced your consumption of the memory is the two rupees already crossed the two rupees crossed then in this case what will happen Anna system will be locked again. We need to do the restart. We have to apply the new license and everything. But an enforced, you no need to apply it. You no need to be restarted. Anna system will not be locked. Why? Because it's unenforced. Right? So there are the different type of license scenarios we can use it. It depends upon the RAM memory. I mean to say here I have taken the 2 GB in that you have taken the uh, to 1.5. But in our case, 400 GB. Right, you have the one terabyte, but you take you take you purchased only 400 GB means you are entertained to use only 400 GB only. That is the enforced, it is locked, then HANA will be locked here. The license memory is over, HANA will be locked here. That is the one thing here. So, here where to apply these licenses means so in the HANA studio level, connect to the system DB, HANA studio connect to the system db go to the properties here go to the properties here here go to the license tab here here just click on the install license here just click on the install license here then here we need to generate the license from the service marketplace so from here we need to apply the license from here we need to apply the license here this text file you will get it out then we can apply the license we can apply the license here right that is what we have to do it in the hana systems okay so that is the service marketplace i will tell you in the service marketplace how to generate any sap licenses or hana licenses we have to apply by die default 90 days you will get so that's enough for our training and practice purpose we can use that that memory hana database we can use it here okay that is the hana database okay so that is the licensing part here. Okay. So how much was the default for temporary 90 days? That you can use it. There is no limitations for that part. You can use it. Okay. But it, it's got only 90 days. So that's yeah. Fine. How much RAM memory you have. So you can use it. So that's fine. Previously I can see is like 10. Now it is 16. So it depends upon the usage. It will be there. But there is no limitations here for this one. But for, if unexpectedly if you delete this license, you cannot log in. So again, you need to do the installation. So otherwise, we, do, we have to do it from the OS level. Using the SAP like key, there is a commands. We have to use it. We have to do it. So why? Because someone is installed. He is not informed. He left the organization. Then his the systems are running fine. So one day, but anyhow, we will get the alerts actually. The license is going to expire in the next 30 days. Means definitely you will get the alerts to the, your inbox. So but that time, so we can react it. Even though you have not checked the alerts on the day, then it's uh, it's already expired means 28 days temporary license you will get again. So then you can date. Temporary license you only get the 90 days at the first time. Then later, later the permanent license, once you apply the permanent license keys, that permanent license keys also expired. So then 28 days you will get. This 28 days you need to take the action. Action means we need to get the request line like we need to take we need to inform to sap and sap will provide you or we need to log into the sap marketplace with our s user id we need to register the system we need to generate the license key and we need to import from studio level also we can do imports like that also we can perform it that is the ana licenses
Okay. So that's it for the licenses. Let me.